despite what you may think, I've heard from the lady is that he's a really good kisser. Interesting. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hero Cross Hybrid Metal Figuration Alien. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right here. You have the alien just looking so adorable. They're just floating in space in the fetal position. Aww. A little baby. Uh, hybrid metal figuration number 23, the alien. On this side, you have the same thing. On the other side, same thing. Except here, you have a picture of the alien just drooling all over the place. That's gross. That's so gross. Uh, let me open up the uh, front flap right here. You have the same image right there. You have the alien logo right there. And in here is where the figure sits. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And you have your warning don't eat anything in this box, that would be very bad for you. That's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the alien from the movie Alien. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get any more simple than that. Um, I will say right off the bat, this is definitely my uh, my least favorite figure of the ones uh, Hero Cross sent me. I don't, I don't like this guy. I don't. Um... And uh, the one reason I really don't like this guy is because he actually broke on me right out of the box. He broke. Um, this arm just sheared itself off. Um, I just, you know, I took him out of the box to mess with him and just to see how his articulation was. And I just kind of started rotating his arm around and it just kind of sheared itself off, this arm. Um, and uh, I glued it back on. And um, honestly, I'm afraid to move it, but uh, let's see if we can actually move this arm without it breaking off again. Oh, look, there we go. Hey, it's moving. It's probably going to break itself off again. Nope, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Um, unfortunately, the problem is, is that this, this joint right here is metal. This is a die cast joint, so... Gluing die cast to plastic apparently doesn't work, especially with the glue that I use. And the glue I use is good glue, but apparently it doesn't work on metal. So, yeah, his arm just, just sheared itself right off. I was just turning his arm and just seeing how his articulation was, like I do with all these figures, and I was just kind of, okay. Hey, the arm turns, and then, froop, it just kind of came right. Oh, there goes the other one. There goes the <laughs> Well, there we go! Main problem with this figure! His arms just, just shear themselves off. What? Okay. Hi! So, yeah. That's why this is my least favorite figure of the ones they sent me, because no. This is not good. Not good at all. But hey, let's continue on with the review anyway and show this guy off. But getting closer on the head sculpt. I do like the head sculpt. It's a very cool looking head sculpt. It does have that transclearant dome up top. You can see the skull in there. The skull actually has some nice paintwork done, some nice shading in there. And some details going down the head and get the ridges up top. Maybe he's part Klingon, too. I don't know. But, hey, he's got that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I do like the brown shading they added to the bottom here, just to give it a little bit of depth. Um, the molding itself is very, very nice. Lots of nice molding. They used a nice... It's kind of like a metallic blue color that they uh, that they use on this figure. And especially on the chest, you can see it like really pops. Um, it looks really nice. you got the rib cage here. Again, nicely detailed. A little abdomen there. So some nice molded detail. I mean, it's, it's you know, the, the detail is there. The detail looks good. Just unfortunately, you know, functionality-wise, mm -hmm. uh, coming down the tail here, you can see the tail is also nicely detailed. It's very cool. Got the little spear at the end, little barb. And you got the spines going down the back here. You have these bits right here. And, um, 
Yeah. So articulation wise, um, the head really can't move. There's a little bit of rotation and I always set off that little gimmick by accident. So I don't want to show that off yet. Stay in there. Stay. You stay. You, you stay. Um, but yeah, the head doesn't really rotate, doesn't really move up and down all that much. You do have an upper joint right here, which does give you some side to side movement. No, a little bit, a little bit of downward movement right there. No real upward movement. So you get a little bit of crunch there and some side to side movement. You do have a joint right here as well. Um, gives you a slight bit of rotation. Very, very slight. Um, it has a nice crunch. You can bend it really deep. You can really bend it back. Um, the waist, you can... Another thing I don't like is the fact that this waist joint is, like, very, very visible. And it's actually kind of like... This whole, like, pelvis assembly is kind of, like, offset in a weird way. Because you can kind of see this... His his diaper. Um, you can see... I don't know if you can see where the post is. You can see the post in there. And when you have the post straight, I mean, this is how everything kind of sits. It kind of sits off to the side. Like, it's not... This piece right here is not centered the way it's supposed to be. And um, that's just really, really weird. Um, so that just automatically... You kind of see how everything is just kind of... It's, it's kind of lopsided. It doesn't sit the way it's supposed to. It's just, it's just weird. And that joint is just... It's exposed. Like, there's nothing hiding it either. So that I don't like. Um, the legs can go forward. They can go back. I hope these don't break off on me. They only go back about that much. You do have outward movement. You do have this upward and down. Whoa! What? Okay, it just unpegged. It just unpegged. It didn't break. Oh, God. This guy is just scaring me now. He's scaring me. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you scream. In this basement, no one can hear you scream. But um, he does have this up and down joint here at the hip as well, so you can actually shift the hip downward. Um, apparently, you can also rip off his lower leg also. Um, the knees are double hinged. You only get about 90 degrees of movement out of it, though. Um, the feet can swivel from side to side. I'm just afraid to move anything on this guy now. The feet do swivel, um, you don't get really a lot of up and down movement, you just get that a little bit there. You do have a toe joint right there. And that's basically it for our take. Oh yeah, let's get to his arms. <laughs> Articulation for his arms. Um, if they were still attached, they could do a 360. They can go in and out. You do, uh, I think this, this ball joint does, you know, kind of flex inward a little bit. So you get a little bit of, you know inward flex, but there's no actual bicep swivel. Um, the elbow is a double jointed elbow. <laughs> so you get that range of movement. Oh man. Uh, you do get a wrist swivel right there. And there you go. And let's take someone look at the detail of the arms here. I just kind of chucked them aside. There is detail in the arms as well. Nice detail. A little elbow spike and everything. And they use that nice little uh, metallic paint here on the hands. So it really pops. So, there you go. He has two of them. They're not attached, though. See, look, it just, it just sheared itself off the peg. It's just... Anyway. <clears throat> there's your alien. Um, the tail is bendy. Uh, uh, I assume there's a wire in here, so you can actually pose the tail however you wish. Which is nice. You can get it all curvy like, which is pretty cool. Um, it feels like there's a wire in here. I'm assuming there's just a wire in here. And if that is the case, you do want to exercise caution because if you bend the wire too much, you can weaken it and eventually it'll snap and then the tail will be pretty much useless. So, exercise caution with that on top of exercising caution with his arms and his knee, apparently. <clears throat> so, there you go. Um, he does actually have a little gimmick to him. You can open his mouth right here. You can see he has the second mouth in there. And there's this piece right here. And if you push this up, it'll actually push a button right right here in the back of his head. So you push this up and whoo, the second mouth comes out. There you go. That's actually nicely detailed right there. They did paint the teeth silver, which is nice. So there you go. He has a little pop-out gimmick, which is pretty cool. 
So there you have that. It's kind of easy to kind of trigger this by accident when you're just trying to move his head around. You can see I just did it there. <laughs> That's one thing, too. It's kind of on a hair trigger. So, yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just have all kinds of stuff in my throat. So, yeah. Accessory-wise, he does come with the standard base right here. The standard black base with the little magnetic bottom so you can store your extra bits in there if you want. Um, so, yeah, your standard base... It does come with the standard arm as well, which I, you know, has the same problem as the other arms. Just, I wish the ratchets were tighter because they can't really support the weight of the figure if you actually want them off the ground. And yeah, I just these arms just don't really work, and that's something that still I feel needs to be uh, improved upon. So you have that, and of course, if you want to decorate the base, you do get stickers right here, you do get the HMF number 023, the alien nameplate that you put right up front, and the big sticker right here with the egg logo on it that you place right on top. So there you go. You can decorate it if you wish. You also do get a little instruction booklet showing you how everything works, although they don't tell you, hey, be careful with the arms because they'll break right off on you. But they, 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 they should have put that in there. That, that would have been important. That would have been an important piece of information right there. Um, he does include this little guy right here, a face hugger. He's actually very nicely painted and nicely molded. Some nice detail in there. Very cool. Um, it is made of a, of a softish plastic right here. So you can kind of move them around a little bit. See the underside here? The little sucker part. You know, right there. Does that to you. Get, that's, that, yeah, that's just uncomfortable. But anyway, <laughs> there you have that little face hugger, which is pretty cool. And you get an extra set of hands right here to just kind of uh, splayed out. I'm going to grab you hands. And uh, cat hair not included. <laughs> get away. So you have that. Um, the hands, um, one thing that is that seems to have become a very, very uh, common occurrence is that the hands are very hard to swap out. Um, and it's an easy fix. I mean, unfortunately, the fix that I've used for past figures doesn't work because usually what I would do is I would just take the hand, plug it onto these pegs, and just turn them and just grind out that excess plastic. Um, unfortunately... These peg holes are way too small. They're a totally different size, so that doesn't work. So you do have to resort to the uh, the knife technique here. So you have to just kind of get your knife in there and just root it around in there and just scrape out that excess plastic, and that helps you swap the hands out a lot easier. Um, it's an easy fix. It's an easy thing to remedy, but honestly, it's getting annoying that I'm having to do this every single time I take one of these figures out of the box. Um, their Optimus Prime and their Predator did not have that problem, but every other figure they've sent me have had the same problem where the hands are just pretty much impossible to swap out unless you do one of those two fixes to them. And it's just, it's starting to get annoying that I'm having to do this every time I take one of these figures out of the box. So that's something they definitely need to improve upon. Um, but just grab an arm here. So, again, just pop the hand out and pop the new one on. And it's still, even despite that, it's still kind of hard to get in. Ah. See, that, that scares me. That really scares me right there. And if you notice, like, it's really, really tight. It's still really tight. And if you notice, like, these, um, the, 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 the pegs, let me get him out of the way because he's throwing off the focus. The pegs themselves feel like they're made out of a soft plastic. And I don't know if you can see, but if I turn it, you can see I'm actually... I'm actually twisting that peg there. I'm actually twisting the peg. So that just makes me even more afraid that if this is too tight, I'm going to shear that peg off. So, yeah, it just... It, this thing just doesn't really work at all the way it's supposed to. It's just... Uh, uh, it just I don't know. Um, but one last accessory that is included... With this figure is you get some uh, some drool right here, <laughs> and it's just a piece of transparent plastic right there. And all you do is just open up his mouth, and it just hooks over his bottom teeth right there. It doesn't hook on securely; it just kind of rests there, so it's easy to knock out. Um, kind of press it there, and just kind of close his mouth, I guess. And there you go. He's drooling. 
Bla. So there you go. <laughs> and uh, just for a quick comparison, here he is with the Predator here. That's going to be a real easy fight now that he doesn't have arms. He's, the Predator's going to kick his butt now. <laughs> That's an unfair fight right there now. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, uh, like I said at the top of the video, um, definitely my least favorite figure of the ones they have sent me. I do not like this. I do not like this figure one bit. One, because, obviously, he breaks really easy. Don't like that. That's just no good. He just all around feels fragile. Like every other figure I've messed with from these guys, like their Predator, Optimus, uh, the Darth Vader, the Batman, the Superman, the Robocop, like they all feel nice and solid. They feel like you could throw them against a wall and they can take it. This guy just feels fragile. He obviously is fragile. Um, and it just doesn't work. And I understand that, you know, this, they have to work within the, actual design of the character itself and obviously these aliens are very you know they're skinny they're lanky and that leads to them having to make very thin parts and apparently that just did not work out too well <laughs> um this figure just doesn't feel as solid and you know just some things being off like this crotch piece just being totally off kilter also it, this figure just doesn't feel as solid as everything else I've messed with from them. It just, it, like I said, it's just, not only does it feel fragile, it is fragile. Like, you saw it. I mean, this arm broke off on camera. This arm, this arm was actually working fine until I started the review. And then I decided, hey, I want to move his arm some more. And it just, it broke right off. So, yeah, definitely, definitely, um... The worst figure of theirs that I have messed with. This, this is definitely a big disappointment. This guy is definitely at the bottom of the totem pole. Um, so, I mean, I would say if you really, 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 really want this figure, know what you're getting yourself into and be very, very, very careful with it. As in, just take it out of the box, put it on the stand, and never touch it. Otherwise, this might happen. <laughs> yeah, just not good. Not good at all. Um, so there you go. Now, of course, you can buy other Hero Cross figures straight from Hero Cross themselves. There's a link in the description down below. You can also pick these up from BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. And you can also check out my Hero Cross playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Hero Cross Hybrid Metal Figuration Alien, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your no, face hugger in your face. You got something on your face, man. Yes, I know. That looks uncomfortable. Yes, it is. Would you mind helping me get it off? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I'll help you. And, um, maybe during the next commercial, when, um, after I get something to eat, and after I do a little training, check up on my emails, I'll get to you, I'll get to you, I'll help, I'll help. You're too kind. Oh, thank you. I, I, I try my best.